so we have the first game Indeed, starting. let's get this going. On to Sleeping Giant, which is almost always a highly entertaining competitive map. It's gonna be chaotic, probably. Uh, more than likely. Double on re what are these guys? Whoa, oh, wow, they've gone. We've, they were they were joking about the season two, season three strats. Now I'm seeing double on re lineups. I think they're I think they weren't trolling me. I think they were deadly serious. Ohio double Henry, Venetia, Stalin, Kleber, Shima. Okay, I haven't seen a single Henry so far. This is the second game in a row we've run on re. Okay. Uh, my team played first two games with Kremlin, then third and now fourth with Ohio. I see Des Moines is back. They didn't have it in the third game. We dropped Salem. Moscow still there. We kept Nevsky. And we kept gearing Kleber and another Kleber instead of Marceau. And there goes the A10 again. Okay, so we had a gearing Kleber Marceau pretty much the entire time. So they just swapped Marceau for double Kleber. Okay. I'm going to be really curious to see now because, you know, Sleeping Giant has become one of these maps that's a little known for, you know, take the French Destroyer, pop the speed boost, drive it right into the A-cap, dare anybody to come do something about it. We've seen teams attempt to execute that strategy at King of the Sea, and sometimes it works, and sometimes it absolutely blows up in their face. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this works. Like, A-cap is a minefield. Oh, yeah. Like, you either get in there and win, or you just get blown up. Yep. We'll, we'll see how that goes. For now, it looks like my boys from the north spawn leading out with Addy's Kleber backed up with both Henri's. I think both Henri's have got their speed boost chugging. I think they're just trying to get there as quick as they can. As the Stalingrad looks like he's going to go play Battleship on that flank. Now, yeah, yep, yeah, there's Shriver. Yep, Shriver's going to do the famous uh, we're going to dive right in here strategy coming, up, coming straight up to mid. Nothing, nothing that my team can do about it. He'll be in there momentarily, and that cap lead will go to you guys very quickly. Sorry, I was just trying to tell something to chat real quick. No problem. I've actually got to lean over and beat, bang on my computer case a sec. Des Moines, Nevsky, Geary versus Ohio, Venezia, Shima. Okay, that's going to be an interesting uh, to see. Michael Bear is going to go for A. That's going to be a free cap. We'll see how he extracts from there later. And we're going to have Kleber Moscow, Ohio versus Kleber Henry, Henry Stout. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting divide here. Yeah. The fact Good. that my team is sending uh, very light against very heavy. And yeah, okay. Um, hmm. Your team is definitely heavier with those Henry Stout. Yep. With the Henry's. Only two destroyers. Now, oh, wait, your Henry is. Oh. Yeah, he's he's diving the cap. He's about to find Shriver right in his face. His guns are looking the wrong way. Does he even know he's there? He doesn't. This is going to be very, very, well, very unpleasant. But how can he not know well, the cap? I don't know. We know he's in okay. there. Torpedoes fail. First salvo fails. Second salvo is going to catch him with one. No, second salvo fails, and now he has torpedoes on the wrong side. Oh no, he's gonna get himself torpedoed! Oh what my god! What, what is he doing? <laughs> River! <laughs> oh no! What did I just witness, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I am not going in that locker room ever again! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was bloody <laughs> priceless! Oh, oh my goodness no. gracious, the Henri doing the work, getting it done. He's going to cap A, just like that, ship lead, cap lead. Wow. <sighs> if I was him, like, I know what he tried to do. He tried to torpedo from the left and then turn in so he can have right. torpedo from the right ready right. as well. Yes. But if you see that Henry's definitely charging like that, uh, do you want to risk wasting one side and then have the other side not being able to catch up usually what i would try to do in this situation would be use the side that's going to be inconvenient first right and then save the one that's like a guaranteed win and he used the guaranteed win and he failed because your henry my guess is your henry just decided to go full speed and not slow down and turn in 
Yeah. And Michael and Barry expected your guy to slow down and turn in. Yeah. Which he didn't do, so all the torps missed, and now he finds himself with torpedoes that he can't turn. Oh, right. dude. Well, that's an extremely bad start for my team, and we're already light, yep. considering we brought three DDs, and there yep. goes one without doing anything, so... Oh, boy. Yep, a little radar, a little Stalingrad radar pushing uh, the other Kleber back away from the cap. As it looks like Rebel, looks like your Ohio's decided that mid is the play. I'm trying to figure out if my guys, I mean, I'm not sure that your team's going to be able to effectively do much on this 1-2 one, flank, 1-2 one, line flank anymore. No, absolutely not. Although Ohio does seem to be committing inside here. I'm a little... Uh, against the Bear and a Henry, I don't know. Yeah, I'm a little surprised to see that kind of a move. Claver is probably going to uh, accompany him as well. Let's see, can so they see... Ohio they... and Claver versus Henry and Claver? I don't know. I don't know, this is... Uh... But when your Henry and your Stalin starts washing my Moskwa deck with HE, that she's going to feel it. Yeah. And on the other side, how are we even doing on the other side? Oh, you got shots on my Nevsky. Okay. I don't know. Like, your team definitely has the upper hand. You got Moscow. the positioning advantage, the point advantage, the cap advantage, the ship advantage, the HP advantage. You got every possible advantage you could ask for. Yeah, that's true. Well, somebody in my chat is actually wondering if that torpedo bug was a factor in missing those torpedoes, actually. now And, and now that he mentions it, I'm... I'm curious myself. Oh, yeah. Now, my guys, I don't think they know that the... They know the Ohio's in the vicinity, but I think Addy is about to discover he's very, very close with the Kleber, and I don't think that they know that he's there just yet. But they are definitely set up to receive this Ohio's position. Are his guns even looking this way? Oh, yeah, they're looking all right. He's ready. Speed boost and the yeah, a little bit of both, probably. Okay, so Ohio is committing, and your club bear is gonna find himself nose into this. Yep, bubble. here we go. He's gonna, and uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna give up the club bear for this play. Can he actually make anything happen here? Uh, he needs to get his torpedoes off. He's dead. Okay, so that was that, was that didn't that that player. didn't work. Yeah, I guess both of our club bears kind of threw our ships away a little I, bit I, I don't know why though like why would you just go in nose in like that not sideways try to torp or rush yeah the the the, the the lack of torpedoes there definitely an issue as uh the on reason now trying to get a little bit of cover from this ohio but he's not going to be able to do it uh, no oh, he's lucky. just he's just too next fat is, yeah next holy he's screwed and yeah he he it with the point it feels like he's panicking a little bit here as the Kleber, other Kleber is going to get come around the corner. Could he potentially double, like, torpedo these guys twice? Oh, good hit there. No, the I other Kleber is now holding. Like, yeah, I don't think Kleber needs to suicide. Just give no, he doesn't. Yep, give the battleship in the Des Moines time to get this down. Question is, what the hell happens after this Henry's dead and Kleber gets A? Uh, I don't know. They're gonna be in the middle of everything. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to say the least. Henri is gonna go down here in seconds, probably to the Ohio secondaries. Nope, the Des Moines does yep. bag him. Now Kleber can go for the cap for free, uh, but now my Des Moines and Ohio need to figure out what the hell did they do now. Now this also means that your Stalingrad is kind of trapped at the moment. Yeah, I would say send him into the cat, but he can't make that turn without exposing too much of himself to the Moscow. That Moscow position is still very strong. And Des Moines would have his side if he yep. goes towards the Moscow. So you are going to end up losing that A cap. Yep. Uh, For... Points are still relatively close, so that's, that's well, okay. And... And the health advantage is yeah. The health advantage isn't what it used to be either, right? It's only about thirty k or so. Yeah, now, I don't have the the total HP pools, but I'm ah, looking okay. at the bars, the ship bars, and yeah. Yep. Both I teams have. I believe what happened in that. A. <laughs> that was exciting, both, wasn't it? Both my Kleber and then your Kleber. That was that was highly, highly interesting. Yep. Okay, so your Venetia is making a push on my Nevsky. 
if she doesn't get torpedoed by gearing. Shimakaze Torps going in on the Ohio now. He's going to take two of those. That's going to hurt. Second Salvo is going to follow up and kill him, I think. Yep, yeah. yep. There's the problem. But they they already made a good play. That was a but, yeah. They did, and they've done they've done a really they've done a really good job beating up our Ohio as well. Yeah. Two yeah, ships so. into the A cap. I don't think we're going to be able to get back in there. It feels like now they need to get this Ohio to cover. He's taking a salvo on the Des Moines. He, somebody got a good hit into the Des Moines there. I'm not sure who it was. I think it's the Stalin. No, it's the Venezia. It's Marin's and Venezia they, threading. Threading shells through the island gaps, landing citadels on the Des Moines. Well done. I think that was Henry, but okay. Yeah, it was, I'm sorry. I apologize. No, you're right. I called the wrong ship. It was the Henri. My bad. I didn't see the first volley, but I don't know if Venetia had the range even, but Henry definitely had shots. Well, well any, this can this can still go out of way. It can because with the second kill, with picking up the battleship kill, we're gonna win in a little over two minutes. The problem is we're about to lose our Ohio. He's gonna burn down. There he goes. Yep. That changes the timer back. Now we absolutely have to make a play. Both battleships off the board. We need to get a kill or a cat to get back in this game. Only thirty yeah, points. Set, thirty points. Thirty points apart. Venetia tried to make a play and go for Nevsky, but because the gearing was alive, he just smoked Nevsky away, and then Venetia yeah. had to back out. Yep. Um, and that I, was the play. Like, my Nevsky was down to 15k. Your Venetia is still pretty healthy. If your Venetia did manage to kill Nevsky, there is a chance she can make a play on C-Cap. Yep. I think this, right is gonna, now, this is going to come down yeah. to having, having to make a play into A. They're going to have to go into A, get into a brawl. We're about to have a tie game 11 minutes in. We're about to, are we about to witness another Kleber moment here? <laughs> uh, we're about to witness another something because this is literally the only play my team has. They're bringing Dire Shimakaze in from the middle of the board as they're going to push the Henri and the Stalin in from this side of the map. Let's see what happens. So here's the thing. Your Henry is full HP. Your Stalin is very healthy. They're extremely dangerous ships and they're going up against relatively low HP Des Moines and Kleber. But right. They are going to be squeezed in from yeah. two sides. If this Moskwa does not kind of close the angle, she needs to remain capable to shoot, and she is, and she needs to time it right. Yeah, timing, might have timing is everything here. Marin's got his Hydra up. He knows those ships are there. He knows exactly they where they are. Yep, okay. got one good Citadel there. Here comes the first rack of Torps. Marin's, Marin's slowing down, dodging oh, those Clover, torpedoes. Clever is using Des Moines as cover. Yep, that's a smart and now play. He's gonna go for it. Here comes the oh, Shimakaze. Your Henry, your Henry actually shoots Des Moines and not Clever. Oh, that's Henry dead. Nope, oh, he doesn't. He doesn't oh, land enough torpedoes. Henry. The secondary <laughs> kill on the Henri, and now he's bow on the Des Moines. Marin's got to get moving, or he's gonna be dealing with friendly torpedoes coming in from starboard. Yeah, but friendly torps are not a problem. Oh, anymore. right. That's right. Doesn't matter anymore. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. He's going for the yeah. ram. He's just going to get up yeah. here and ram him. The ram actually benefits us. That's a trade. And now Stalin point blank with Moskva, as I think we're going to pick up A and hopefully, hopefully hang on you to win. You are winning on points, right? At the moment, we yeah. win in 40 seconds. It's all going to come down to if this Stalin... Are they going to trade? Oh, they, they can't aren't. shoot each other. Oh, the Stalin gets him, and there it is! Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! We are off... We are on the board with a win, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe what I saw <laughs> this game. <laughs> this is what I love about Sleeping Giant. This map generates the most ridiculous games to watch. It is so much oh, fun. Oh, my God. God. Oh my god, that was amazing. A cap is a Kleber cap from now yes. on. I can't believe three out of three Kleber's potatoes this round. What are the odds of that? Uh, Jesus. GG, oh dude. man, GG Flambass. That was a ton of fun. Thank you, sir. I am, I am not going in my locker room. No fucking way. Never again. Never again. Nope. He jinxed it. <laughs> they're, they're playing the last game without me in there. <laughs> <laughs> Too much fun. Well, oh. uh, you got your first win. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Win number one. Outstanding. My chat will be super excited once they catch up with the delay.
Yeah, now if you can win your last one, then it's already not looking too too grim either. Absolutely, two and three is not bad coming out of today. There's a lot of there's a lot of really good mm -hmm. teams in this field. So yeah, I mean I'd be happy with two and three. Sweet. Who is your awesome? Last uh, I'm gonna get Maltese last. In fact, let's go see. Is he? Is he? Is he? Did they get a win finally? Let's have a check. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Maltese. Maltese won. Um, they they beat Ferris team, but they oh. just yeah they beat Ferris team, but they just lost to uh, Tigers Tigers team. So, so yeah. So he's three one as well. He's one. He's one and three, just like me. So one and three, yeah. Yeah. So somebody, somebody, we're both one and three going into the last round. Somebody's coming out with two wins, and somebody's gonna coming out with a little tear in their eye. So 